Life Stories present. I never imagined that a simple dinner conversation would change everything between Sarah and me. He's been my rock, my confidant, the person I share everything with. Our home, tucked away in a quiet part of New York, had always been a safe haven, a place where the world couldn't touch us. But one evening, as we sat down for a meal like we always did, I let something slip that had been on my mind for a while. We were enjoying a peaceful dinner, the kind where words flow easily and laughter comes naturally. Without much thought, I casually threw out an idea. What if we tried something new, something that could shake up our routine a little? Sarah looked at me with a curious smile, but there was a spark in her eyes. I could tell she wasn't just dismissing it as a joke. I went on, my voice softer now. Imagine if we invited someone else into our space, into this part of our lives. I expected her to laugh it off, but instead, she paused, the wheels turning in her mind. She leaned back slightly, her eyes never leaving mine, and asked, Are you serious? Her question hung in the air, and for a moment I was caught off guard. Up until that point, it had just been a fantasy, a passing thought. But her question made me stop and really think about what I wanted. I realized it wasn't just idle talk. I could see the intrigue in her eyes, and I knew she was considering it too, even if she wasn't ready to admit it. The next morning, everything felt the same, but I couldn't shake the memory of her expression. It was as if that conversation had planted a seed, something that would quietly grow between us. Our smiles and our touches felt different, as if there was a new energy sparking beneath the surface. A few days passed, and though we hadn't talked about it again, I could sense it was on her mind too. We were careful, tiptoeing around the topic, but every now and then I'd catch her looking at me in a way that said she hadn't let it go. I didn't push, letting her come to terms with it in her own time. Then one evening, as we sat on the couch together, she squeezed my hand and finally spoke. Maybe we should talk about it again, she said, her voice calm but sure. I felt a rush of adrenaline, my heart pounding as I realized she wasn't rejecting the idea. She was opening the door just a little, and in that moment, I knew the door we'd cracked open wasn't going to close easily. After that evening, when Sarah suggested we revisit the conversation, the tension between us grew thicker, almost palpable. It was like we both knew something big was about to happen, something that would shift our relationship forever. But we were still carefully navigating around it, like waiting for a storm to roll in. We sat in the living room, the soft light from the lamp casting a warm glow across her face. Uh, Sarah looked at me with an intensity that I hadn't seen before, like she was trying to figure out what I was really thinking, even before I fully understood it myself. The room felt still, but inside my mind, thoughts raced. I was nervous, but more than that, I was excited. This wasn't just about the idea itself, it was about where it might take us. Do you really think this is a good idea? She asked, leaning forward, her elbows resting on her knees. Her voice was calm, but I could sense the weight of her question. It wasn't just a simple inquiry, it was a moment of truth. I'm not sure, I admitted, but I feel like it's something we should explore. This isn't just some game for me, I want you to be with me in this, completely. She nodded slowly her expression softening as she considered my words. Then she reached for my hand, her fingers lacing through mine. For a moment, neither of us said anything. It was a comfortable silence, terror one filled with understanding rather than uncertainty. I trust you, she finally said, and those words hit me harder than I expected. In that moment, I realized that no matter what happened next, we were in this together. Her lips brushed against mine, a soft kiss that was more about connection than anything else. It wasn't rushed or full of passion. It was a quiet, intimate moment that spoke of trust and commitment. As we sat there, lost in that kiss, I felt everything click into place. This was us, stepping into something new, something unknown, but doing it together. When we pulled back, Sarah sat up straighter and looked me in the eyes. We need to set some ground rules, she said, her voice steady. We spent the next hour talking about boundaries, what felt right, what didn't. It was an open, honest conversation, one that brought us closer. I could see that she was becoming more comfortable with the idea, and her curiosity had taken over her hesitation. I think we're ready, she finally said, and the confidence in her voice told me everything I needed to know. 
Finally, the night arrived when everything we had been discussing became real. From the moment we woke up, there was a tension in the air, not the uncomfortable kind, but the kind that buzzes with anticipation. The entire day felt like we were preparing, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally. We both knew this was a pivotal moment and we wanted to be ready for it. The evening began quietly. James and Rachel, our close friends, uh, arrived as planned. We gathered in the living room where we'd spent countless evenings before, but tonight felt different. There was an energy in the air, something unspoken that filled the room. I caught Sarah's eye more than once. She was glancing at Rachel too, a slight nervousness in her gaze, though she was trying hard to hide it. I could feel her tension, but it wasn't fear. It was the excitement of stepping into the unknown. A few glasses of wine helped ease the initial tension, and James, as usual, kept the conversation light and funny. But even through the laughter, I could sense the same unspoken awareness in him that I felt within myself. This wasn't just any evening, and we all knew it. Sarah laughed along, her face relaxed, but behind her smile was that deeper contemplation of what was to come. Finally, Rachel was the one to address what we had all been skirting around. Her voice was calm and confident. I think tonight could be special for all of us. The atmosphere shifted as she spoke. We all turned to look at her, and I saw Sarah tense slightly before relaxing again. She squeezed my hand as if silently asking for reassurance. I squeezed back. A glance exchanged between James and me confirmed that we were both on the same page. This was the point of no return, but instead of fear, I felt a sense of readiness. Everything felt right, as though we had all been moving toward this moment for a long time. Sarah made the first move, surprising me with her boldness. She stood up, walked over to Rachel, and gently touched her shoulder. It was a simple, casual gesture, but it carried weight. Rachel looked up at her, and their eyes met. The room went quiet, but not in an awkward way, more like everyone was holding their breath, waiting for what would happen next. I knew this was important for Sarah. She needed to make this decision on her own terms, and she did. Watching them, I felt the tension in the room shift into something softer, more electric. Sarah took another step forward, wrapping Rachel in a brief but meaningful hug. It was a small act, but it spoke volumes. James got up next, and we shared a look, knowing that from this point on, we were all in it together. Soft music played in the background, setting the tone for what felt like the perfect moment. I could see the spark in Sarah's eyes, the same one I'd seen growing over the past few weeks. This was her choice, her journey, and I was right there beside her. As the night reached its peak, everything around us seemed to slow down. The tension and nervousness that had been building throughout the evening began to melt away, replaced by an unexpected sense of freedom. Sarah and I sat side by side, our hands barely touching, but the connection between us was undeniable. When our eyes met, I saw something in her gaze. No fear, no doubt, just peace. James and Rachel were sitting across from us, their conversation light, their laughter filling the room with warmth. It was strange, almost surreal. We had crossed a boundary we never thought we would, yet there was no awkwardness or discomfort. Instead, there was a harmony, a feeling that this night had unfolded exactly as it was meant to. Sarah squeezed my hand a little tighter. It was a subtle gesture, but one filled with meaning. It was her way of telling me that she was okay, that she was at peace with what had happened. I felt a rush of warmth spread through me. This wasn't just about the night itself, it was about us, about how this experience had drawn us even closer. The night seemed to stretch on, but there was something magical about it. We weren't in a hurry. The world outside of this moment no longer existed. James suggested we step out onto the terrace, and we all followed him. The cool night air greeted us as we walked outside, the sky above glittering with stars. It felt refreshing, like the universe was giving us a moment to reflect on what had just happened. We stood there together in silence, gazing up at the sky. It was in this quiet moment that I realized the true significance of the evening. It wasn't just about the physical experience, it was about discovering something new in each other. We had ventured into unknown territory, not just for the thrill of it, but to understand ourselves better, and in the process we had become even more connected. Sarah turned to me and softly said, I didn't realize this would make me feel so free. Her voice was barely a whisper, 
but it carried the weight of something profound. I wrapped my arm around her shoulders, pulling her closer to me. We stood like that, side by side, staring out into the vast night, and for the first time I felt like we were truly one. The night had given us more than we could have anticipated. We didn't know what the future held, but we both sensed that we had started a new chapter in our relationship, one built on trust, openness, and understanding. This was the beginning of something bigger, something deeper. When we finally went back inside, the atmosphere was calm and relaxed. The weight of the evening had lifted, leaving behind only a sense of quiet satisfaction. We all sat down again, but this time the silence was comforting, filled with the knowledge that we had shared something important. I looked at Sarah and she smiled back at me, a smile that said everything without needing a single word.